the biggest challenge that we have in clinical trials is making sure we bring objectivity into the process. And for most of us as investigators, you know, we tend to be more optimistic perhaps than we should be. That objectivity then sometimes can uh, be lost in that. And so if you can bring objectivity by doing tumor measurements that are reproducible and can be uh, verified, can even go undergo a quality assessment, quality assurance assessment, that's going to be important because when we make decisions now about which drugs are working uh, and will lead to major breakthroughs, we need to be certain that the drugs will benefit patients and it's not due to perhaps overcalling responses, uh, overcalling stable disease, and being able to come up with some of the important numbers such as progression-free survival and response rate. So, lesion management software, what it really does is it brings that objectivity to doing tumor measurements, but it also acts as an excellent solution for busy clinicians because for most of us, we don't have a lot of time to be doing tumor measurements and then almost capturing the same images that we saw uh, from the CT scan or the MRI. Uh, this way, if you use these solutions, you can see what you uh, measured last time, the exact location, the exact same cut, and the new scan will show you that as well. And that makes the life of the investigator so much easier. You know, bringing that objectivity in is particularly important, both for the entire field of clinical research, but also for the investigator. Because if it's a response, or if it's stable disease, or if it's progression, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know and can trust what's going on and what's being captured by the software. And you know that if other people are using it, the results are as they say they are. So this is really important. It brings that element of improved quality and reproducibility to the life of an investigator. Yeah, so doctors uh, nowadays are bombarded by different types of processes that we have to do or adopt. Uh, from electronic medical records to PAC systems to a number of things such as electronic case report forms. And so investigators have a lot of things being added on to their daily uh, routine. And any time that that is happening, um, it has to be simple and easily adopted. And it has to be intuitive because if it is not intuitive, then there's a real problem because it becomes something that slows your day down, reduces the amount of time you're seeing patients or all the other you know, tasks that you have before you. So any software has to be easy to use, easy to adopt, and intuitive when you use it. And that's one of the nice things about Mint is it's incredibly intuitive and it's very easy to adopt. In fact, I've worked with other LMS systems and this one is much better in terms of ease of use. So clinical trials are changing and approval mechanisms by the regulatory agencies is changing sometimes quite dramatically. So we've had a number of new drug approvals that have been based on small sample size in very select populations. And some people use the word agnostic uh, clinical trials, meaning we search for the molecular alteration in that patient's cancer and the drug is approved no matter what indication. Now, to do that, you have to have convincing evidence that in that population, the drug works, and it works very well. So if clinical trials now are changing so that we're not so reliant on overall survival or the need for a randomized phase three study, but can approve a drug in a small number of patients, say 50 to 100 patients, then it adds special emphasis to the tumor measurements and the reproducibility of those tumor measurements. So a software solution uh, for tumor measurements like a lesion management system or a, you know, or a product like Mint is going to be increasingly important because we have to be able to stand behind those tumor measurements if we're going to be approved on response 
rate alone. And so this is the uh, key aspect. As clinical trials change, so must these software solutions so that we can ensure that the drugs that are getting approved really do work.